All right, guys, before we get started, just want to let you know about a giveaway we're doing for the all new Klipsch T52 ANC True Wireless Earbuds. We'll have a card right up here as well as the link to the video down in the description below. Check that out for how to enter in the giveaway. Hey guys, Chad with Pure Media Systems. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are out in beautiful Prosper, Texas, doing a full install. We're doing control for um, some surround sound, patio speakers, networking, and the work. So stay tuned after the intro. We'll show you what we're doing. All right, guys. So we're going to start here in the living room. Um, customer went with um, partial uh, builder's package uh, from the preferred uh, vendor from the builder for some of their low voltage stuff. So they did the package that included um, uh, some pre-wiring as well as some uh, speakers they've got. Uh, originally, uh, you know, we consulted with the customer. Originally, you can see they were pre-wired for the front speakers to be over here on the other side of this beam, which you don't see um, at all. And where the seating position is way over here. I'm going to zoom out so you see a little bit better. Um, basically, kind of rule of thumb with this sort of stuff is if you can't see it, um, it's not going to you know, you're not really going to hear it very well. So um, with high frequencies, they are directional. You want them going toward you as best you can. Um, so you can see all over here. I consulted with them and I recommended they have the speakers um, when they install them to relocate them on the other side of this beam, um, which they were able to do. And now from the seating position, you will be able to hear the speakers much better. Um, we, um, the customer had this tile wall put in after the house was built. Um, for the fireplace, so we actually uh, came in and got the TV ready, uh, the bracket on the wall, so they could um, tile around um, that, so the TV, um, we didn't have to drill through tile, um, as well as the TV can be um, a little bit better, uh, closer to the wall with that. Um, so we went ahead and did that for them. We're going to be putting, um, the builder's package doesn't include like uh, the subwoofer, center channel, um, receiver, remotes, things like that. So um, we're going to do a uh, control four system in here with the EA1 bundle. Um, we're going to do that in the gamer as well. We've got an episode uh, Evo 10 uh, subwoofer in white for this room as well with wireless subwoofer kit. And we're going to put a Klipsch RP640D uh, on wall as a center channel. Uh, we're going to actually use the, um, the Sanus SASB1 uh, to attach the uh, RP640D to the TV itself so that it doesn't have to go into the tile and it gets tucked up nicely underneath the TV. All of the cabling and everything comes under here. So we're going to uh, put the receiver. We've got a Denon AVRX 1600H um, going in under here with an arachnid switch and um, the rest of the equipment. Um, there's also uh, out here, there's patio. Um, it is pre-wired for in-ceiling speakers. Um, we've got the uh, Klipsch DS180 CDTs, the designer series. That's going to go right there. And another one on this side of the patio over here. In the game room over here. We're going to put in... Um, mount their TV, uh, another RP640D, same setup in here basically, uh, Denon 1600H, and uh, another um, Control 4 EA1 bundle in here uh, for this room. So uh, there are, um, we've got the six in ceiling speakers in here, so we're going to finish that out with the another ep uh, episode. Uh, Evo subwoofer uh, sealed all white so it blends in uh, real nicely in this room since the customer didn't want to see a big black box. We've got a nice compact sealed white subwoofer. Um, over here, in the laundry room, we're going to upgrade everything here. So you can see everything is shoved into this panel. Um, from the builder, uh, we're going to replace this with a um, wire path 40 inch panel. Uh, you've seen us use that uh, a lot, and we're going to uh, put one in here as well. Um, replace this uh, cheap Luxel uh, switch here. Uh, we're going to put in a uh, Arachnus 310 switch, uh, uh, 310 router, as well as a 210 um, 16 port switch. 
and um, get all of the cables hot in the house. Um, the builder part of the builder package is to include the control for um, CA1 here. Um, they've got a couple of the uh, the uh, switches, um, the control bar switches, as well as door locks um, that they do as part of that package. So um, we're going to integrate the rest of that into the house as well and um, get all of the get everything rocking and rolling here. They've got uh, the builder also included to um, ubiquity access points uh, from the Unify system. So uh, we'll be able to deploy all that with the uh, Arachnus gear um, for and uh, take over their system here so that uh, it can all be managed um, and set up uh, centrally. All right, guys, we've got all the cables out, um, all the equipment out, and we pulled the uh, old uh, structural wiring panel out. We've got the additional 10 inches, kind of was a 30 inch panel, and uh, now we've got a 40 inch panel in here, uh, or hole cut for that. So um, you can see the whoever installed the uh, old panel did a little bit of a, a quick cut job, we'll say. So and see where we've added in um, the, uh, the additional hole for the panel. So uh, we're gonna get the panel prepped and ready to go to get feed all the wires in. So um, you see the panel here. Uh, it's got all of the holes here that are um, tack welded in, so we're going to have to pop those out. And then we've also got uh, one down there for the electrical, and uh, we're going to get all that ready and then put the um, fit the rubber grommets in and everything else so that we can feed all the cables through. All right, so uh, I've got the panel uh, fitted in here. It's not secured yet. We've just got everything fed through. We're going to organize everything. Just want to again show you the process along the way here. So. Um, you can see we've got it uh, nicely tucked in here. We're going to go ahead and uh, secure it in and uh, get the cables managed and uh, get all the equipment back in. Alright, so just a quick overview of what we got here. So uh, I've got the watt box down here. It's IP enabled as well. So uh, we're going to go with the 40 inch wire path panel. Uh, right here we've got the uh, AT&T router. Um, that's the fiber coming in here. Got the Arachnus 310 router, uh, the 210 uh, 16 port PoE switch. Down here we've got the um, the uh, watt box here, which is uh, connected to the, um, uh, the UPS here. So we can actually, um, they work together. We can see battery life, load level, and everything over the um, on the UPS. And we can actually control what happens depending on the battery level, for example, um, if we wanted outlet number four to turn off when the battery was 75%, we can do that. Uh, individual outlets are controlled. Any of the, um, the overseas watt boxes are able to work with the overseas UPSs and uh, have all sorts of oversight with that uh, system. Uh, right here, we've got the CA1 from Control 4. Um, just all the cables and everything else, the security cables and everything that we've put in here. Uh, these doors um, come off and open up very easily, so you can do anything you want. Tie devices like we have here to the those panels, and you can adjust them, do anything you want with them. Uh, I've got a key here because since this door locks, the customer can do whatever they want with it. So I'm gonna close that up and. Oops. Oops, closed up and we're going to go ahead and get on to the next step all right guys so we're fast forwarding a few weeks uh, we've got the rest of the equipment in here so uh, we're going to show you what we're going to finish up today and with the progress that we've uh, done here all right so we're going to go and show you uh, some more stuff uh, in the house here so we've got the uh, Samsung TV mount on the wall with the RP 640d uh, right below it and that's hung with the SASB one from Santa so that keeps the center channel uh, sound bar whatever you've got there tucked up nice and tight to the TV um, we've got uh, four speakers in the ceiling here for the 5.1 system all the equipment is underneath the cabinet down there with the NVR and everything else behind their Christmas tree here. We've got a white uh, episode um, Evo sub there uh, with a uh, watt box on the wall there uh, for slim surge protector. So it blends in with everything and it gives a nice balanced uh, 
space in the room for um, music as well as uh, TV and movies. In their bedroom, got a, another Samsung TV on the wall with a Bose uh, sound bar. Um, again, using the SASB-1 to keep it nice and tucked up to the TV. In the master bath here, got another set of uh, in-ceiling speakers for music. And uh, go ahead and show you the patio here. Got the Luma 410 4K surveillance camera. Uh, we have it out here the Klipsch uh, DS180 CDTs and another one right over here. So it's in the corners on either side of the patio. Uh, so you can have some music out here. And we'll walk inside. And this is their gym and uh, game room. It's a work in progress. Obviously, they're still moving to the house here, but uh, we've got another uh, white uh, sub from episode. Uh, I've got the Denon uh, AVRX1600H, uh, another Samsung TV on the wall with the RP640D from Klipsch. Uh, they have, this is set up uh, in a unique situation with a technically a 7.1 system, but you can see the uh, in-ceiling speakers here. Got another set here and then another set back there. So um, using the SR260 remote, we have uh, macros or a, a custom button set up to where um, they can press one of the custom buttons and set up into the um, auto decode mode for uh, surround sound. Um, so whatever uh, source is coming in, they can, you know, if it's surround sound, that it will uh, play through true surround sound here if they're just watching TV. Otherwise, if they want to listen to music or it's a, just a stereo source or they want it evenly distributed throughout the game room, um, they can easily hit that one button and it will change the, uh, the mode, the audio mode on that. Of course, down here, uh, practice switch, e, uh, C4 EA1, Go and open this one up for you here. Uh, Roku Ultra, and then we've got the two triad ones right there. All right, so go ahead and zoom in here. You can see we've got one of the uh, Luma 410 cameras right there. And uh, so it covers the whole front entrance of their, their home here. Um, they've got uh, a quick set door lock here that's tied into Control 4 as well. Um, they can fully control it, manage all the codes and everything to control for. Um, they've got several of the adaptive phase dimmers from control for as well. So uh, their outdoor lights and everything are uh, on timers uh, to automatically turn on a sunset off at sunrise. And that does adapt throughout the year as the, the uh, um, sunset changes and sunrise changes. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Your support is really what keeps us going. We'll have full details for the giveaway in the description below, but to be eligible for the drawing, you will have to be subscribed to our channel, like this video, and comment, comment down below with how much you love our videos. Once we get past the 1,000 subscriber mark, we will do a drawing for the lucky winner. So make sure you share this video with all of your friends and family. We look forward to getting that next video out for you guys to watch, and we really appreciate your continued support. Thanks for watching and have a great day.